Hello and welcome to the 5th Bloom Novatus Tech Talk Online. My name is Zimon Beller. I work in technical sales, where I support and supervise various machine manufacturers. The importance of process automation and unmanned production is increasing all the time. And that's why we'll be presenting our tool setting probes in today's Tech Talk. We plan to cover the following topics. We'll kick things off with an overview of our products, giving you a chance to discover the vast range of our tool setting probes. This will be followed by a detailed look at our measuring mechanisms. Before I share with you a few application examples of our various versions. I'll then finish the tech talk with a brief summary. So, let's start with the overview. Our products are split into two categories. On the one hand, we have Z probes, which can be switched in Z direction based on a linear guidance. They're used for fast breakage detection, tool length measurement and axes compensation in one axis. The tool setting probes equipped with a multi-directional or shark measuring mechanism are referred to as 3D probes. This is because these tool setting probes can now also measure in the X and Y axis. Further, it is now also possible to measure the tool radius. Depending on the actual application, a disc or cube shaped probe contact is used. The majority of these products are available with one of our three types of transmission. Hardwired for permanent installation on the machine wall or on a stationary machine table. Infrared or radio transmission for installation on moving parts, for example the machine table of a 5-axis machine or an interchangeable machine pallet. Now let's take a closer look at the measuring mechanisms. The Z-Series probes are equipped with ball-bearing mounted precision linear guidance. That can be seen here in the center. This offers low measuring forces and enables us to measure even very sensitive and small tools. Further, due to the linear movement there are no shear forces acting on the tool. The multi-directional measuring mechanism on the left is our all-rounder and is also integrated into our workpiece touch probes. This consists of a rotationally symmetric measuring mechanism which is connected to a touch element. This enables wear free measurement from every direction. The measuring mechanism Shark 360 which can be seen here on the right, also guarantees highly accurate measurements irrespective of the measuring direction. With this measuring mechanism our patented face gear, which can absorb any torsional force, is additionally integrated. You can, for example, also measure and control your turning tools in a process-safe manner. All measuring mechanisms are equipped with wear-free, optoelectronic signal generation. The trigger signal is generated via shading of a miniature light barrier and thus does not require a mechanical switch. The Z Nano tool setting probe is used for measurement and control in one direction. As already mentioned, this is achieved using ball bearing mount linear guidance. This precise design enables us to also reliably measure or inspect tools measuring 0.1 mm in diameter with a repeatability of half a micrometer. We distinguish between three types of transmission here infrared, radio and cable transmission. The device is universally applicable and can be installed or retrofitted on almost any machine. In this video, you can see how quickly breakage of a drill bit can be detected. It is checked for breakage after application to prevent any possible errors in the next component. Let's take a look at the application example of a Z-Nano. Infrared transmission is applied here. This video shows the automated process of a turning machine. First, the length of the turning tool is measured prior to machining. This tool can now be used to machine the desired contour. You'll then see how a drill bit is checked for breakage after machining. The smaller alternative to the Z-Nano is the Z-Pico. It can be used to measure even smaller tools with a diameter measuring just 0.05 mm. Due to its compact design, it is also suitable for use in micro-machining. This device is available as a hardwired variant. This video shows production of a clock movement using a 100 micrometers mill. It is also used for breakage detection after machining to avoid very expensive rejects caused by undetected tool breakage. The second sequence is an illustration of the low forces acting on the tool during the measurement process. Now let's take a look at the ZX Speed 3D probe. As already mentioned, 
Our rotationally symmetric multidirectional measuring mechanism is used here. Its design enables us to measure the length and radius of tools and to also carry out fast breakage detection. Using these devices, tools measuring 1 mm and upwards in diameter can be measured with a repeatability of 0.4 micrometers. We distinguish between three types of transmission here, infrared, radio and cable transmission. Now let's see how this type of length and radius measurement works on a ZX speed in a 5-axis machine. The length is measured when centrally approaching with a stationary spindle. The radius is measured when laterally approaching with a rotating spindle. Another variant of our 3D probe is the TC76. This can either be screwed as a modular structure onto a TC5330 workpiece touch probe or be installed in a protective sleeve and directly integrated into the working area. Our patented shark measuring mechanism is used here to absorb torsional forces and prevent measuring errors. In this case, we use a cube-shaped touch element to measure the length and radius. You can see in this example how a TC76 has been integrated into a protective sleeve to protect it from chips during machining. In this turning application, the protective sleeve moves to the rear to allow the cube to be used to measure a turning tool. Subsequently, you can see how a thread cutter on the same cube undergoes breakage detection after machining. The TC76 with a protective sleeve is also available as an integrated variant at our LC52 Digilog laser measuring system. Finally, you can see the length and radius measurement of a turning tool after machining. Here you can now see a special application in which the Z-Nano is used for runout monitoring in one axis. Fast runout monitoring for large-scale production, simple and flexible retrofitting, compact and robust, available as a hardwired, infrared or radio variant. Another special application is the measurement of felt tools on a Z-Nano. These cells are equipped with high-precision Stobbly robot arms with a specially developed felt tool rotating on a high-speed spindle. The felt tools are used to polish ceramic clasps for gear selector levers. Since the felt tools wear out very quickly, the current tool length is measured before each polishing process and stored in the tool table. This automation solution guarantees reliable operation of five identical robot cells around the clock. As you can see, our tool setting probes offer a very wide range of applications. There are also hardly any limits when it comes to installation in your machine. For instance, the devices can be installed in robot cells or on a base, the machine table or the machine wall of almost all machining centers. And this brings us almost to the end of today's Tech Talk Online. Allow me to briefly summarize the advantages of our tool setting probes. You can automate their application in a process safe manner and prevent possible downtime due to undetected tool breakage. Due to the wear free measuring mechanisms, the tool setting probes are basically maintenance free. And thanks to the small size of the devices, they can be integrated into almost every machining center. However, I've saved the biggest innovation for last. Thanks to our newly developed software generation V3, the Z Nano and Z3D tool setting probes are now even more user friendly and can be approached at much greater speeds. Thank you for your attention. I hope that you found this condensed overview useful. We look forward to hearing your questions. You can find our contact details in the video description below. I look forward to welcoming you to our next Tech Talk. Goodbye for now and take care.